fifth win. For fucking sure. Oh, by the way, man, I'm glad we got a chance to do this again for the second time. I had a lot of fun the first time. I'm glad you're glad you're here for this yeah. time. It's awesome. Oh, it's... Enjoyed it the first time. Enjoyed it now. Nice. Same dude. It's kind of weird. Huh. So his deck is definitely beatable for us, I think. I don't yep. think it's extremely beatable, but I think it's definitely beatable. Um, seems like total yeah, shit. This, this seems like a mulligan to me. Really? This is yeah. a mulligan. We're to draw. All we need is a forest, and you want a mulligan. I guess I should have. I should take a second here. So, this is. We don't get a scry this time, but we are on a draw, so we essentially get an extra draw step that's close to the scry. Yeah, we have three. We have um, three chances at a forest before we need to play one. But we both need a green source and a fourth land before this hand starts doing something. That's true. This deck's been um, fairly slow. And a hand with Dreadmon Oracle in the opening hand is not ideal. Well, if we're getting for fourth land anyways. And there's I, always the, I suppose the thing... this doesn't actually kill creatures either, so Yeah. There there's mostly the argument that if we can have an opening hand with Green Seeker, it's so much better and we have two of them in the deck. So Jesus. why not? Try and go to six to have a chance at drawing them. Yeah, this and here we are with my typical fucking <laughs> mulligan hand. Okay, sure. I, I will take it on that that thought process. Sure. We're running three colors. We will occasionally be punished by that. We got punished. Here we are. I think this sounds actually keepable. Yeah, we have a sky scanner. And five land. And then bottoming any land, hoping to draw the same cards we mulliganed earlier. How do you like this card? Nah, don't like it. I am. I don't question your decision. I think the decision is fine, but I question our ability to win with this hand. Did our opponent mulligan as well? I think they did. Yeah. Yeah, they mulliganed one. So, Daggerback versus Skyscanner here. Daggerback to stop the life game. I think, yeah, Daggerback. We already have the Lance for now. Just want to play defense. Uh, that's a good one. This is like a totally well, different least... deck he's playing over here. Yeah, at least we didn't draw Lance so far. Yeah. Are you trading for the Bugler if he offers it? I am. Probably, yeah. And then we can go dagger back again into Skyscanner plus growth. Yep. Uh, I'm taking Chaplain if he attacks, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So those jump us. I am think I'm Green Seeker in here. Yeah, I think so, too. And the next turn, we can go Skyscanner block and titanic growth which is pretty sweet actually all right so we have a land in hand i guess we want we can't block the courser we'll see what he plays again yeah we can block the horse with green seeker if they jump the one three but they're probably jumping the horse but then we can just eat the pegasus with titanic growth yeah all right, so I'm okay with the planes right now. Yeah, I think so. Since we want to block the chaplain too. Okay. Uh, make sure to keep up green. I can't keep green. In... Oh, you want the sky scanner? I see. Yeah, yeah. I think we want to block the courser now. Sucks. Uh, there you go. They found blue mana. Hope we still get to kill their courser here. Yeah. Otherwise we're in trouble. Yeah, definitely a questionable game here. Sketchy as fuck. A lot of ways it could go bad right now. Seven mana. Seems a lot right now. We just missed two green seeker fixes too. Alright. What's this unblockable by? Red? Yeah. So it doesn't really do much at the moment. All right. And 
the sky scanner is still good in the face of a uh, inspiring charge here. Uh oh, what the fuck is that? That's inspiring. Really suspicious. That's an inspiring charge, right? With knowing uh, our hand. Yeah, I mean we still block with our one three, right? No. Well, I mean we just that kind of growth and then kill their horse. I think that's worth it. So why is it the one three over the sky scanner? It's exactly the same. Because that forces them to make an action if we want to push through damage while well, with the sky scanner, ah. it's on us to make the first move. Okay. I buy that. That seems very suspicious for our hand. Like, very suspicious. Would you really yeah. play around Titanic Growth on the Corsair? Nope. I, I didn't actually mean to click past Titanic Growth, but I guess I'm okay with that. Alright. I didn't mean to do that, but alright. Uh, I'm drawing. See if we hit anything. Nope. Hmm. It's a pretty awkward draw. Yeah. So we can't even play it if we want to keep up Titanic, and I think we do want to keep up Titanic. But then we also don't get to play Basilisk. Hmm. Might have lost the game here. Um. That play seems super fucking greedy to me. Like a look at her hand kind of greedy. It feels like... I mean, like, what, what, what world do you play that? Without a buff card that you play. Not sure. I don't know either. That seems very, very suspicious to me. Okay, uh, what do we do here? I guess I'm basilisking, basilisking here. I don't think That's Titanic reasonable. Growth like does anything yeah, for us. Yeah, it's a bit ambitious here. And if they can see your hand, they're not going to play into it anyway. Yeah. We need to hit action right now. Yep. Palladia would be our best draw. Yeah, for sure. Did we show him a Titanic growth in the last games we played versus him? I don't think we did. Fuck is that attack? Well, let's give him a chance. Before you say anything, just let him make the attack. Green turn black for me again. Screen turn black for you again. Uh, do you want me to turn it back on or just lag for I you? Can let take a look at the the stream. I'm happy to turn it on and turn it off again. Give me two seconds. Uh, I say that. You see it again now? Okay, so he's jumping his 2 4, attacking with the shield mare. I'm blocking Basilic versus shield mare. You hear? Legend, buddy. That's a negative. All right. Okay. All right. Can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me now? All right. Yeah, I can see now. Okay. So how did that work out? Uh, we traded Basilic for 2-3. Not All right, super right. excited. We didn't, have, uh, we didn't have green for growth. Forgot. Huh. Well, we could block plus shock as well now as one of our plays on the Pegasus. But we probably want to growth first. Yeah, I think we want to growth first. So um, I am tempted to draw here for a green mana. I guess it's possible to block the chaplain and maybe it's relevant. So I guess I'll wait. But I'm not super excited about it. Yeah, but. Like, how relevant is playing the Majesty now? Could be relevant. Depends what we get. 
We've been getting kicked around pretty hard right now. Divination's bad for us. Yeah, we need a four-power creature to stick for a while. Yep. Yes, we do. You killing the Courser here if you block, or you killing the Engineer? So the thing is, the Growth can potentially still deal with the Engineer in the future. But yeah, if we go with the chalk block play then mm. we lose the sky scanner so that doesn't work if they give the engineer flying so we might have to growth block engineer and then we can shock block if we were considering shock block we should have majesty here just to get it off the board because we only have one fucking green mana to deal with yeah but what i'm saying is that we can maybe first go with the block what is this engineer player? plus growth Player plays like he's watching the stream. It's so fucking annoying. Okay. Um, so yeah, if we block engineer plus growth, then we beat it through most tricks they could have. Yeah. Then we can still have our sky scanner for next turn for blocking courser plus shocking. So you like here? Uh, no, that one flies. So we can block the chaplain with the one three. With, so no. green secret inspired charge kills kills here if we do that i mean i guess yeah and you like this block or that block yeah i, w I was gonna block on the engineer you could not block the chaplain if you want to play like around i feel like corsair is what's killing us right now do you think that's really the engineer that's killing us any creature we get but the thing that. is are you gonna yes yeah what you could do is block corsair but do you then shock or do you want a titanic growth i'll probably shock to begin with but we'll see what happens here can do both but that, that's also pretty weak against Inspired Charge. Well, Unless we want a Titanic Growth. Let's see what happens but, here. Yeah, we'll let damage happen and then we can shock end of turn, I guess. It's my preferred blocking right there. See if we get punished or not. But. Okay. So I'm shocking the Courser here. Yeah, that's a problem with the 4 4 otherwise. And activate Green Seeker. Well, that's it's a good card, card cast. but it doesn't help me whatsoever. So we're at eleven. We have to kill the ward. I can't. I can't tap for it. I can't play my green mana. So, so it just. If we get really. If we get really lucky on the Green Seeker, we could play the the twins. But if we miss, then we're pretty much dead. Yeah. It's pretty bad for us. Be nice to have Majesty out here. Getting the shit kicked out of us by not drawing green mana right now. It's not like we don't have a lot of mana. We have fucking tons of mana. It's just not the colors we need. Feels kind of bad, I gotta say. Second blue, you worried? I mean, what could they do here? Like a salvage or secrets type of play? They could cancel. Yeah, I guess cancel could be annoying. Did we see it in the previous games? I don't think so. I think we only saw Asna Scatters. Yep. Or the Sea Serpents. Or bad. that guy. Okay. What do you think? If. Yeah, we're pretty dead. If you're watching the hands, you know not to attack. If you're not a fucking huge scrub, you're attacking here. Oh, he's a huge scrub. So he's watching the stream. Probably. So we're literally yeah. watching a player who is so fucking bad that in a winning position, he can't win. I mean, he still wins if he trades. It's just like, it's just kind of unbelievably bad. All right. Nice that work, works. scrub. All right, uh, let's draw. All right, so we could go four plus majesty, majesty but then no, we're they are attacking that. with a four four and then it's got the majesty twins. didn't really do much so yeah i think it's twins take a beating from the flyer yeah hope to draw well from there yep unfortunately that's what's gotta be when oh, he's got essence scatter okay yeah 
All right, first time win for this guy. He's gonna get his one win. The first time he's ever had a win. He's gonna do it by watching the other player's hand. He's gonna feel good about it. Frozen. Yeah, that seems like a oh. really good card to be playing main deck. You don't think he's watching? You're an idiot if you don't think he's watching. Did you just watch his last plays? Oh, pretty dead here. Eight, we take 10. Oh, we take, no, we don't. We take more from that. Okay. Yeah, if you don't think he was watching, you're an idiot. Did you just watch his last two plays? He just played around Titanic growth like three times in a row in a winning position, even to the point where he would win getting Titanic growth. Does that not make any sense to you? In other words, because he's so bad, he just played around Titanic growth even when eating the Titanic growth would make him win the game. That's how bad he is. And he just did that. The only way you're that bad is if you're watching. Because if you are actually that bad, you play into it. If you're good enough to not be that bad, you play through it. The only way that the, what just the outcome that just happens is if you're simultaneously really bad at the game and you know what your opponent's playing. That's how that works. That's the only scenario in which that happens. Okay. Um, are you subbing anything different for this? So That's we want to naturalize and plummets. Yeah, right. We want I think at one least naturalized one. double plummets. Yep. And what do we drop out of that? One basilic and one titanic growth, I think. Yeah. It's also pretty bad if they're watching anyway. And the axe. And did we want to change forest for mountain again? Yes, we did. It's actually fun to think about, like, how, how do you sideboard versus an opponent that sees your hand? Yeah, you take out all your combo tricks or no? It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, if you can uh don't use specific uh so when you're playing around stream snipers and i've played around a lot in my time try to uh avoid using specific titles of cards it forces them to take the moment to look at the screen as opposed to just hear that and understand so be like yeah you should play the two mana one that'd be fine something right. like that yeah so i don't want to say yeah for example you wouldn't say for example titanic growth this turn because that would just be yeah. giving our hand away for no reason Okay. All right. You thinking of green seekering on our turn? I think uh, I am. I think so, yeah. We want to draw action. And we've got our three mana guy to find more mana guys. Yep. <laughs> uh, Got to be so cryptic. So I got one land. Guy seems really strong as a player. I must say, chat, up till now, he's been playing really good. So it seems extremely likely that he is winning on his own merit. I'm playing the ogre uh, here oh. and just beaten down. Yeah. Smash face. Yeah. Nothing up to now, chat, has led me to believe he might not be watching. I can't imagine a world in which he has done anything except play well. Mm hmm. Could I not adjust my screen capture to not show my hand? Of course I could, but if I don't show my hand, I'm not showing you guys my hand, which it removes your enjoyment of the game. It's just it's just finding, I mean, this audience, right? Like, it just depends the world you're playing in. I've played a lot of competitive games online now, and it's just some audiences are gonna be, oh my God, I need to stream snipe them to be any good. And some audiences are gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna tune out because it's a small enough world and people have to deal with this, so. Nice. Seems good on his part. Um, I kind of want would, action here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, and I think so. We could go for the set up the big yeah. guy, or we could go for the. I kind of like setting up the big guy. Yeah, me too. He's on one land. Let's get this game over with as soon as possible. I mean, he yeah. might have asked to scatter, but. Hey, Galg. Indeed. Yep. I have indeed set up a green screen. 
Ooh, two mana. Omen Speaker. Look at that. The plays. Yeah, this game's over. Guy's good. It's tough to deny. Alright, um, I want action. Yep. Okay. We got action. Very nice. Nice block. Sure. Oh. Meh! Meh! He's taking his time, sure. Think about it. Take some time. You only have two land. You only had one in your hand, so to be fair, you kept a one lander. It's kind of your own fucking fault. Okay. So they top top, so they must have kept a line on top. Is this a dwindle? Sure. Yeah, we forgot uh, to activate. Yeah, we did. All right. Oh, well, we get to double spell anyway. Yes, we do. Four and three. Uh, I kind of want to get another green seeker out, honestly. I mean, the second one doesn't necessarily do much, but... Does it? I think it does. Don't we just want to play the extra... You want the 2-2 two -two on board? I don't really care about the 2-2, two -two, and I do care about... Oh, oh yeah, right. I, I miscounted. I thought we could do both. Yeah, yeah. Then we can do both. Just... Oh. Yeah, I think just the 2-2 two -two is better. Oh, I'll yield to your uh, superior knowledge here. My my play would have been the Green Seeker just to make sure that every single card I draw is something that I care I about. We just attack with everyone at this point. We don't really care about using the Green Seeker anymore, so that's why I like putting 2-2 two -two in play. Okay. You don't think he's watching? Ah, his plays have been incredibly bad if he's not watching. They're kind of bad with watching, to be fair, so maybe that means something. All right, uh, let's look for a card yeah pretty straightforward turn uh yeah we hit with probably I everything we can send everyone yeah don't care if the one one dies a generous bestowal ah uh, thank you for the donation let's take a look what we just got where is my there it is random no no it's not random guys somewhere donating why is this not all the way up to date do not know where the fuck is my thing that's bad right now Feels bad that I can't see who fucking donated. Where is it in chat? Oh my god. All right, well, wait a second. Okay, anything you want to sub for that? Don't think so, no. Yeah, I don't think so either. Let's go ahead and go. Well, our hand was pretty decent last There it week. is. Dollstar for the $10 donation it says, Who has time to snipe when you guys are streaming? Right? Don't you think they'd have better things to do? But it's unfortunately a part of uh, reality when you are streaming. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Cheers on that. And a donation and a sub on the same day. Much appreciated. I'm still happy with two plummets. I'll tell you what, Fen God. And Frozen. When you gentlemen stop playing flyers, I'll stop playing plummets. I don't mind plummet as a sideboard card when you know what's going on. I think green is the best sideboard cards. Could have considered going up one naturalized minus one plummet. Really? You think double naturalized here? We've seen we did like, see the dwindle as well now. Uh, I saw that earlier. We did see it earlier. We dwindled it one game. One game we actually removed it. All right, yeah, yeah we naturalized the dwindle on the board. Yeah. So. I'm not super excited about a second naturalized versus a second plummet. Yeah. I like the plummets. He's got flyers. Sooner or later, he'll trigger it. I mean, he might not yeah. trigger it with us in our hand. So uh, if you do draw it, just don't make a word. Don't say a word about it, okay? Make him actually right. spend the effort to see it because he's been, he's been acting like he's stream sniping. I'm happy with two plummets. I wish I had seven plummets, maybe 12 plummets. Given a chance, I'd only play a deck made of plummets. Maybe 15 plummets, if I could. What would your max number of plummets be in a deck if you knew what your opponent yeah, was playing? If my opponent was only playing flyers, yeah. then I would max out yeah. as many plummets as I could. Same. Two mana terminate seems good. Keeping it? It's for all the marbles. Mm. I think I'm keeping it. So on the draw. Yeah. Your logic. Close to 50. Yeah. We're close to 50% for green and yeah, that guy helps. Makes my makes my insides hurt, but I could see keeping it. Okay. That's a good one. Always had it. <laughs> Always had it. Pure skill, right? 
Yeah. The better player, for sure, would keep that. You playing this guy or this guy next turn? I'm playing this guy. Mm -hmm. Give him a take. Oh, I don't actually know anymore. I think I might be playing that guy. Yeah, I think we play lefty. Lefty as is. Say hello to lefty. Frozen. Never punished. You don't think stream sniping's being punished? You don't think the guy watching my hand is being punished? Is punishing Ooh. me. All right, uh, let's see what he wants to do about that. Yeah, 100%. So we could lefty again. Yeah. Or we could try and bait something. I don't think baiting is a thing here. So um, I think he has an essence scatter. I think it's time to eat it. I think the best way to eat it's bristling boar. I think the second best way to eat it's green seeker. Um, I'll play or, rejuvenator. I mean, we could just all, all the way lefty, the red lefty. Oh yeah, he's definitely not counting that. I'm 100% behind that. I didn't understand what you're saying. Yep. Good fucking call. I agree 100%. I mean, if if SS scatters the card and... Yep, waste his turn entirely. He's gonna cage our own. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's all your mana all right. scrub. I'm gonna hit a boar on him, I think, here. Seems good. Okay. Yeah, could have been the other one. So be it. Okay. Uh, I think um, we play lefty now. This one you're thinking? Yeah. That one's so tempting to me. Yeah. It's I think that's like... as good, right? And then it gives us a two and a three next turn, potentially. Um, Maybe even a yeah, two and a four. Does. I but think I want this guy yeah. on the board. I think long term his value is higher than that. And I don't think next turn a five is better than a four. Four. It depends how quickly we want to end this game. Since if we can go lefty into righty, then that's the fastest way to close out the game. Okay, I want to close this game as fast as I can. So if you think yeah, this think is this... faster, all right. Uh, yeah. I want that color. Yep. It's fine to get rid of. Okay. It's I'll just this guy. Righty. Yeah. Kind of annoying card for us. We need to draw naturalized. Yep. Although I'm not naturalizing that if I draw I'm naturalizing that, so. It's the war leader. Yep. Best card for him, I think. Yep. Alright, that's good. I yeah. think we go far left now. Far left. Yeah, okay, I can see that. I was thinking far right, but I think that's fine. Alright. The vigilance is definitely a huge condition. There's no reason to attack here, so. Nope. Just have to be somewhat careful for um, inspired charge. It's a good game, Amy. Does that mean he just knows my hand and knows it's a good game, or we find I don't out? Know. It suggests that that's not the case. Pretty weak. Yep, agreed. Especially ahead of time, makes blocking so much easier. All right. Yep. Um, Please step forward. I am smashing him with six, and then yep. probably playing, playing the Dreadmaw. All right. Good game. Thanks for watching my hand for two games. Super exciting. This is per turn, right? So it's hexproof right now? It doesn't say hexproof on uh, it. No. no, it's no longer hexproof since we dealt damage. So once it deals damage, hexproof goes away forever. Forever? Not each yep. turn. Nope. Oh, I thought it was each fucking turn. That makes it Just basically a temporary not temporary thing. Yeah. Um, are you blocking? Because max damage is under twenty here. I just feel like you just smash him in the face as much as we can. I guess I, mean, I, I guess I'm, I block with I'm the blocking, boar. but not with Baladia. Just yeah. Okay. So I'm blocking with Boar. Dread and sure. Dreadma. On the three five, it's fine. Yeah, I guess I'm going to actually throw in a 1-1 one, one there in case he does charge. I'm going to block. I'm not going to block the 1-1. One, one. I'm going to take the rest. Okay. Yeah, seems fine. There it is. 
sure. does gain a bit of life here, so he might not be that dead. But... She did a fucking lot of damage to us. That's hilarious. So, I don't know. It's on seven. The sky scanner plus. Sky scanner plus spider. We're not on seven, we're on six. So it's spider plus green seeker. Hit him Seems with six. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, and we can draw into something with the scanner potentially. Yeah. Probably would have played a scanner first. I'm not playing scanner, I'm playing spider. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That works. Attacking him with Dreadmon doesn't do anything, so I guess I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I might be attacking him with Brew. He has to block with two. Do I want to trade yeah, the Brew for the Brew one? and they gain one and they lose the Chaplain. I don't think that's necessarily worth it. Okay. And now we have blockers for days. Yep. He's got a lot of life game on the table though. It's three. Gets another round yeah. out of this. I mean, they're not really getting through on the ground, and we've got the air covered multiple ways. Yeah. Stop telling me a good game and just fucking leave if it's a good game. <laughs> fucking sniping right. piece of shit. I'm so annoyed at that guy. All right. We'll take that as a win. I think it was... Well, we got our five wins. That's nice. Yeah. Nice to see a full win deck out of that. All right. Why don't you fire up your stream? I would love to throw some viewers your way. If you guys, if you want to right. keep watching some Magic the Gathering tonight, I think the best place to do it on Twitch, would you disagree in any way, would be a Legends stream. Uh... I, I can get behind that. Yeah, I'd say probably the absolute best place on Twitch to watch that tonight. I am done streaming for tonight. I'm glad we got to test my new setup. It seems to be going pretty well. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know about the volume, the green screen. Watch when I wave my hands. Ready the green screen? See how they get all fuzzy? Isn't that cool? Anyways, it's magic. Um, we're playing Magic the Gathering. You can tell that from my fuzzy green hands. Uh, if you want to stream snipe me, just, you know, just let me know in chat. Uh, we can have a talk about it. I can tell you about your... Um, you know, what that means for your genetics and your parentage and your offspring and things like that. We can tell you what it's going to cost you to your soul and things like that. Um, but not important right now. If you enjoyed it, please hit the follow button. And we're going to host Legend on the way out tonight. Let me know when your stream's up, mate, and I would like to do that. I'm going to draft with him. So I'm going to sit through the draft with him, talk about my thoughts and his thoughts. So you get a little bit extra on that, but I probably won't be there for the rest of the game. I have some things I need to do tonight. So uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll be back um, Thursday for sure, probably before that. I'm still moving in, so I got a lot of shit I need to do. Whether or not I get to stream before Thursday, we'll see. I really was a big test for me today. Everything seems to be working. Pretty excited about that. So, you stream up, mate? Uh, yep. All I'm right. Live. Okay. I'm going to host uh, Legend. So, please go check out his channel. We're going to be doing more MTG Arena there. And, uh, oh my God. What's the second part? Your name is Legend BD, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's the, the V. That was throws me off. All right, guys. Go check it out. Go say hi. I'm going to draft with him. Draft on stream with him. No, I didn't open packs. That'll have to be another time. You'll have to see the prizes later. And uh, will you switch over to your Discord or and share the... Uh, I'm going to drop my sharing. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Let's drop the stream. Give you the host.